See students, today's India's population is increasing rapidly. Why? Because declining death rate and increasing birth rate. So, if the declining death rate and increasing birth rate, what happens? Automatically, it leads to increase in the population of the country and it leads to population explosion. So, mainly this demographic concentrates on three important concepts that is changes in the population and composition in the population and the distribution of the population around the space. So, what is composition? How many males are there? How many females are there? And that is composition of the population. And what are the changes in the population? That means uh, which birth rate is more? That is male fertility is more or female fertility is more. So, this it deals with. And last is distribution of the population among the space. That is migration, immigration. Everything is going to be discussed in the demography. And it also deals with five important processes. In every life it happens. That is marriage, fertility, mortality, migration and social mobility. So as all individuals go for marriage, after marriage they will go for an offspring. That is, uh, what is that is uh, fertility. And next it leads to mortality. After birth, automatically after some time it leads to death. And uh, so social mobility. So we will go from one place to another place for, as per our requirements and it also migration. So this important. So this five important process it deals with. Demography deals with mainly this five important process. And next if we see the definition of demography according to KKK Gulani, demography is the scientific study of human population which deals with the composition of the population, changes in the population and uh, social distribution of the population. This is the definition of demography according to KK Gulani. And next the definition which was given by K. Park that is so demography is the scientific study of human population. And next if you see the demographic cycle, demographic cycle mainly is having five stages. The first stage is high stationary stage and the second stage is early expansionary stage and third stage is late expansionary stage and fourth stage is low expansionary or low stationary stage and the fifth stage is declining stage. So we are going to see what happens in every stage that is in high stationary stage the birth rate is high, death rate is high, demographic gap is narrow, population is stationary, population composition is young. If you see in the first stage the composition of population is mostly youth, we can see youth in this composition of the population and the second stage is early expanding. So that is birth rate is unchanged, death rate is began to fall, demographic gap is increasing and uh, population is growing and uh, population composition is young. And in the third stage that is late expansionary stage, in this birth rate tends to fall, death rate falls further, De uh, demographic gap is increased and uh, population growing and uh, population composition is young. And fourth one low stationary stage that is in birth rate low, death rate low and the demographic gap is narrow, population is stationary and population composition is mixed. And last stage, fifth one is declining stage in this birth rate is lower than the death rate, death rate is more uh, low, demographic gap is reverse and uh, population is de declining, population composition is aging. So this is about today's session and in next class we will discuss one of the important topics from community. Thank you. Take care.